Good morning, Oshkosh community. My name is Kate Harrell, and I'm the dietitian here at the Oshkosh YMCA's. And today, I'm going to talk about some fun activities you can do at home. I know a lot of you are trying to come up with ideas to keep the kiddos busy and learning. So this is certainly some great options for you to think about. Also great options for adults to do as well. Um, things that can give us a little hope as we look through this spring and future ahead. So I have a few things that we can try. One of the first ones that I'm getting really excited about is starting to plant some seeds. So this is a more commercial version of little seed containers that you could use. You can also use little cups. There's lots of ways that we can do this. Um, it's a great way where one, the kiddos and you can choose different things that you might wanna grow in the coming spring and summer. Um, and also a great way to learn how that process all happens. So what I love about this activity, it's not just a one day activity, it's something that can really pull us through. And we can watch the growth of the seeds, then we can take those seeds outdoors, and we can kind of map out where we wanna put those in the yard. I know my mom and dad and myself are planning how we can organize our two yards to make the most of the crops that we can grow this spring. So lots of options there, and certainly if you need help, please feel free to let me know. A second great option is just cooking and baking in general. Um, for the kids, it's a great way to learn how to measure um, using different tools. I have the measuring cups, the little teaspoons, tablespoons. For the older kids, conversions, fractions. Um, I still have to reference back to some of those conversions, um, but it's a really nice tool that encompasses math. Um, just the hand coordination of measuring and kind of scraping off those measuring cups, getting a feel for what ingredients are in different recipes. Kind of an extension of that cooking and baking idea would be to talk about what those different ingredients do. So what do eggs do for us in a baked good? What, do, what does oil do? What are the different components and how does that help to get us to that end product that we see? Another fun thing to try um, would be to take maybe an option that we're really used to using. Mac and cheese is a great example. And then how can we do that with the different components? So how could we take a boxed um, pasta or macaroni and then turn that into our own macaroni and cheese? And you can certainly do that with a lot of other foods too. Um, it takes time, which is a good thing I think for a lot of us now where we have some things that we can use our time for. The one thing I love about cooking and baking is it gets you in the kitchen together and then you can certainly enjoy what you make um, after you're done, which again brings us together as a family, as a community, um, and those can be some fun options for you to try. One last one to think about um, some of the older kiddos, if you're looking at different foods or food groups and what they offer us, it's a great chance to learn what foods give us and how that helps to keep us healthy. So why should we eat fruits and veggies? What are those contain that can keep us healthy? What are proteins? What foods give us protein? And then what does that do for us inside the body? Fats, talking about the benefits maybe to the brain and ways that we think across the day. So lots of options. Please feel free to reach out if you need assistance on that. I'd certainly be happy to direct you um, to the different options that you could try. Thank you. Mm -hmm.